Welcome back. 644 on Daybreak. And today marks the start of Women's History Month. And there's an effort underway to pay tribute to some of Western New York women's trailblazers. And currently, Erie County cites only two public monuments to women in Buffalo, but a group is working to change that. Daybreak's Heather Lee has more. The Trailblazing Women Monument Project is part community collaboration and part public art plan aimed at filling a void. Western New York reflects the larger uh, national and really international narrative around the lack of representation of women in, in public spaces. A steering committee is working to honor Western New York's trailblazing women in this inaugural project. The group behind it has a background in education, public art curation, and of course, women's history. What a community or culture values and memorializes says a lot about who they are. We want to be a community that embraces and acknowledges and values the contribution women have made in our lives. The project will be comprised of a series of statues and plaques dedicated to pioneering women in our region, along with an online educational component. The first three women to be honored with a statue are Louise Blanchard Bethune, the first professional woman architect in the U.S., civil rights leader, preservationist, and educator Mary Burnett Talbert, and Seneca leader and faith keeper Geraldine Sita Green. What's interesting is that while there are no books or written histories about her, she played a, a significant role in the continuation of our culture and most especially our language. Somebody who worked her entire life tirelessly to give as much as she could of herself so that our traditional teachings and our language remain intact for the future generation. The search is on for artists and fundraising is now underway. They have a little more than half of the $500,000 needed for the first three statues. They'll be placed here outside of the Central Library in the shadow of the Lafayette Hotel, one of Bethune's projects. It was also one Seneca land, so the connection to history is deep. The site is being prepped this year, and they hope to unveil the first statues early next year. When you memorialize somebody with a statue, you're also continuing to share their story, their importance, and their relevance, not only from the past, but into the future. Figures of hidden history soon to be on public display, a change in the physical landscape of the community to acknowledge these important women and their contributions to Western New York.